Hi, Dr. Felton here to go over a Miller's Knot, um, a type of encircling suture that is crushing and locking, and also a trigger technique um, for flashing and tightening an encircling ligature without an assistant. Um, so this tube is going to be my ovarian pedicle today, um, or your spermatic cord, anything that you want to ligate in an encircling manner. Um, I've got I'm using a two clamp technique here to demonstrate this and um, imagine that on this side, this is the side that I've created a window through the broad ligament, um, just caudal to the ovarian pedicle, and I'm going to reach through that to grab the tip of my suture and then bring it between the tips of these caramelts and then around and under. And then I'm going to do another pass just like that. Again, under both. So now I have <laughs> a <clears throat> small loop here over my instrument. And I'm going to take the long end of my suture and I'm going to push that through this small loop like this to create another loop. And that loop that I just created is what I'm gonna pass the short end of my suture through, like that. And I'm going to initially sort of lightly tighten that on my lower instrument. And I'm going to tighten down the needle drivers on that. And you can kind of see me wrapping the suture, the long end of the suture on my hand. Here's that trigger technique. I'm going to, with my thumb of my left hand here, push this instrument away from me. And with my index finger, pull the long end of the suture toward me as I remove this instrument from the pedicle with my right hand. So as I slid that instrument out, I pushed with my thumb and I pulled with my index finger. That's an initial tightening that I did on that crushed spot of tissue but I still need to flash and I would certainly want to tighten that one more time. The good news about the Miller's Knot is it's locking, so I can let up on this tension and it has not backed up at all. It's tightened down on there and it's staying, which is nice. So I would reposition this a bit closer and reposition my left hand a little bit closer so I can really pull and I can really push. So again, pulling with my index finger, pushing with my thumb, and then with my right hand, I'm gonna flash, and it allows me to tighten that more. You can see how hard I'm pulling. And that's great, that's as tight as it'll get. And then again, when I let up, that hasn't backed up at all, and I can put my second throw, third throw, fourth, fifth, and sixth throw on there, and it's gonna stay put. Then, after we've put the number of knots we want on there, we can simply do that two-clamp technique again and do that same exact routine over this instrument and throw our second encircling Miller's just above it there.